In today's video, we're going to be doing an end access on the 864 fiber SST ultra ribbon cable. The tools we'll need for today uh, to do our end access is a measuring tape uh, to measure your access length, utility blade, uh, whether you have a blade or a hook blade in it, uh, we'll be doing our ring cuts and shaving the jacket. Uh, we'll have a screwdriver with friction tape. Uh, this will assist in pulling our rip cords, pair of side cutters for cutting GRPs, uh, electrician snips, and a large coaxial cutter, um, and any tools used to adjust the blade depth on our large coax cutters. To begin access, uh, we went ahead and marked our access point with a piece of vinyl tape. Uh, this will give us a mark to pull our rip cords to and to do a ring cut. Uh, whenever we start access, we're going to go to the end of the cable. We're going to locate where our GRPs are at. Uh, they're on the side of the cable. And we're going to use our utility knife or a cable sheath knife would work as well. We're going to shave about six inches over top of those GRPs to gain access to the rip cord. All right, now we see we have access to our rip cords, uh, so we're going to use our tool with friction tape to be able to pull our rip cords. And we're just going to pull into our vinyl tape. And now we're just going to pull the other side to the same place. So we pulled just past our tape. And now we're going to do a ring cut at our tape. Uh, this way, once we flex the jacket back, uh, it will be able to come off easier. So now that we've got our ring cut and our rip cords pulled through, we're just going to come down here to the end and get our outer sheath. Uh, the way I do it, uh, we can flex it back and forth a little bit. It helps it separate from that central tube uh, to where you can have access. We're just going to pull both sides. And once we get to that ring cut, we're just going to flex it and pull it off. If your ring cut's not deep enough, you can also use your side cutters to help remove the outer jacket. Now that we have the outer sheath off, we're going to cut our GRPs down. Depending on your application, uh, it's how long you'll need to leave them. Uh, but for now, we're just going to cut them back to about six inches away from our access point. Uh, that should give you enough to get into any closure or housing that you need to strain relief. Now that we have our outer sheath off, uh, we're going to access the central tube of the cable. Uh, this is where our 36 and 24 fiber ribbons are at. Uh, to do this, We'll need our large coaxial tool. Uh, we always recommend either trying it on a scrap piece of cable or on the end of the central tube to make sure you have your blade depth set correctly. So once we get it on, we're just going to rotate. You wanna make sure that it scores the jacket but not cuts completely through. Uh, so we're going to flex this back and forth uh, until that score starts to propagate. So now that we know that it's set correctly, I'm going to go do it on our access point down here on the cable. And again, this access point is going to be determined by what hardware or splice closure you're going into. We're just going to pull the central tube away from the ribbons. Uh, you'll also notice that there's a water blocking tape in here. Uh, we're just going to remove that. So we'll pull that away. We'll use our electrician snips to just 
cut that flush with the tube, um, being careful not to cut any of the fibers. Now your cable is prepped and ready to go into your closure or hardware.